<clears throat> storm Agnes will hit the UK this week. Will you be affected? We named the storm on Monday morning. We'll feel its impact on Wednesday and into Thursday. The storm isn't much at the moment, but it's going to intensify as it crosses the Atlantic on Tuesday. As it approaches the UK and Ireland, it'll be packing a punch. Well, this doesn't bode well. Welcome along to another video. In this one, the Met Office, which is the UK's weather forecasting service, have just announced the first major storm of Storm Agnes. They're saying it's going to be heavy persistent rain and winds of up to 75 miles per hour in the southwest of Scotland. So it's not exactly a cyclist paradise. I had an adventure planned for this week, but due to the weather, I've had to postpone it. All is not lost, but usually when we get bad weather in Scotland, this is the time I like to look over my bike and just make sure everything's running pretty sweetly. What I did want to do was clean up my cockpit on my bike. I feel as if it's getting a little bit cluttered with the roll bag, my Garmin attachment, a bit for my light, and my bell. So what I done was I went online and I bought myself one of these, which is a drop bar bell bike. And if you want to see that 10 times quite quickly, feel free to do so. So I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Canyon. I bought this with my own money. The bell gets really good reviews and it says it takes less than 30 seconds to install and no tools required. So first off, let's get the bell on the bike. So I haven't taken instructions out of the box. We can see here, it looks pretty straightforward. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the end off the bar. Then we get our bell ready. Apparently we just slide the bell in. And then once it's in, we start turning until it gets tight. And then we just keep going until I take it until it's tight. Well, that's too tight. So then you've just got to loosen it until the bell works. Well, that's absolutely rock solid now. And I think the idea behind it is, is so you can use your, your pinky to ring it. Let's see what the difference is with a Japanese steel one and the Canyon one. The Canyon one is definitely higher pitched. So you're probably going to hear that a lot more than that kind of dull. The reason this is dull sounding is because of all my cables and, and stuff that's there. So yeah, I would say I'm pretty happy with the installation of that. It seems pretty rock solid. It did take a little bit longer than 30 seconds to install, but you never needed any tools. So yeah, it's pretty good. Obviously I'll need to do a road test on it. Another thing I like doing as well at this time of the year is I start getting the, the bike prepared for winter. So I'm going to put my actual mud guards on rather than having my ass savers. I use the SKS Raceblade Pro XL. It says it does up to tires of 35 mil. I've got 35 mil gravel tyres on just now, so I'm hoping these are going to fit. So we'll get these bad boys on. And the thing I like about these are they're just so quick to get onto the bike if you want to take them off. If it's not a rainy day, do a rainy day. Rather than mud guards that you've got to actually screw into the frame. I might need to adjust that one. The bike is actually needing a good clean to be fair. The only thing that gets me about these front ones is the positioning. I don't know whether these are going to fit. I've had to do quite a bit of manipulation with this one so that it's not rubbing whatsoever. The back one's, the back one's fine. The back one is absolutely perfect. The real test will come when I'm actually out and about because when they start bumping about and moving, that's when we'll know if they're on right or not. That's me installed my bell and I've also put on my winter mud guards. Well, that's how it's got to the end of another video. Just like to thank you all for sticking around and watching today. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Oh, it just came into my mind. I recently just hit my milestone of 100 subscribers as well, so I can't thank you 100 guys even more than what you already have. So if you haven't already, you can watch one of these two videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.